my ego, my understanding of my ego, is formed ultimately from conditioning, from how I've related to those around me, from my upbringing, from my education, from my day-to-day -day encounters with the world. It comes from how people view me, how the universe views me, and then how I respond to that to maintain this image of who I want you to think I am and also who you want to think I am. So it's a very, very unreliable entity in that it's not really an entity either. It, it exists within my consciousness. It's not a separate organism. It's almost like a ghost, but it's very controlling. And it's full of fallacies. It's full of lies. When I say ego removal, I'm in the direction of, there is nothing more egoic than saying, I'm going to remove my ego, or I have removed my ego. That ultimately and fundamentally is the ego. The ego, my ego, wants to look well. It'll also want to be super spiritual. How cool am I? More ego. But coming back to simple things like breathing, I begin to see it more. I see my ego. I see its necessity and I see its unnecessary elements too. I see the toxic elements of it and I see the positive elements of it. And I try not to discern or judge them. And this is the beginning point of my process of looking at my ego and understanding what this is, what this means. Creating art with this in mind helps me mirror back onto myself and remind me of a part of me that is not conditioned, that is not subjected to the judgments of what people think, what people may think, what what do I even think? It's a non-judgmental place, safe. And within that space comes better understanding, a better ability to be a compassionate person in a real sense. Not for the sake of anything, just to be. So not creating a new battle or a new war against the ego. It's just further propaganda from the ego itself. And allowing myself the time and space to be who I am, struggling with my ego, like everybody. But to create in that space, I feel, offers a much, much broader sense of clarity within the chaos. It's abstract on top of abstract on top of abstract. It is the highest format of abstraction in that I can't see a ceiling on it. My ego is rampant. My ego is out of control. And at other times, my ego is more calm, more sincere. I strongly believe it's a wounded child that needs affection and reassurance that it's okay to be not okay. I think ego removal is probably too strong a term because it, it suggests perhaps that there is something to remove that it's like a cancer in the body or something. And with the work I've been doing recently, I'm beginning to see, just beginning to see, that there is not necessarily anything to remove. 
it's more acknowledging it, it's more sitting with it. In fact, it is just that, to sit with it. And when you see it, it dissolves. Readjusting my eyes, looking inward, coming home, letting go.